Hi everybody and welcome back to Tea Time with Taryn. Today's card is, it's a almost like a three, well maybe a four dimensional card because there are different layers to it. I've got some gray card stock here and it was an eight and a half by 11 that I just cut in half. So I'm also going to need some vellum and some colored paper. Usually I color everything I stamp, but I thought I'm going to try and do this instead. Just stamp on the color I want it to be, which actually saves me so much time and I love it. So I think I'm gonna be doing this from now on instead. I have so much colored paper, so this is perfect. I'm gonna start with the little birdie. This is from the Stamping Ups set and it's honeycomb happiness unfortunately i don't think you can get it from their website anymore so it might be something you have to go on amazon or ebay or something and see if you can find somebody selling the set but there are, there are so many bird stamps that you could get away with using a different one for sure so the ink I'm using is stays on. I'm using this specifically because I'm also going to be stamping on the vellum and I didn't want to just use any black ink. I wanted something that I knew wasn't going to smudge and make a mess. So I'm just using my scrap paper. It doesn't matter if I cut off the legs because I'm not I'm going to I'm not going to use the legs. So And I almost forgot, I just also want to add a beak, so I just ink the top of his head. The next is the flower. And the flower is from the stamp set that you, I think you still can get. Um, this one is called Best Thoughts and it's also stamping up. Everything that's still available to buy will I will um, link in the descriptions. So, and if I forget to mention something, likeliness is I will probably remember to add it to the, uh, the description. So don't worry. gonna guess it's probably a good spot next I'm going to cut out all of the things that I stamped and this has leaves and all kinds of things I don't need the leaves because obviously the leaves on purple so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out so now I'm back and I have all the pieces cut out. Um, I don't know if you remember, I stamped two of the heads of the flowers. And so for the second one, I just cut out a couple of different, I cut out a flower and a few of the petals. And that's gonna be our fourth dimension that we're gonna add. So just keep that in mind. Um, so I, what I learned when I, made this the first time is that the glue takes a little bit to dry and because the petals use glue and dimensionals I'm going to start off by gluing my flower um, so that it has time to dry so by the end I can put the dimensionals on and it'll be perfect okay so with the petals what you want to do flip it over and just on the very inside 
you're going to add a little dab of glue. The dimensionals are going to go on the petal, so it's just the, the tiny in, inside part of the petal where it would kind of meet the flower. I hope that makes sense. I'm just going to bend it a little bit so that it has some give later. Oh, my nails are all gross and dirty. Sorry about that. I'm playing with so much ink today. A little overkill. Let me glue there. Not so much glue. And this goes at the bottom. And one more. Should bend it a little bit. This one, I think it's this one here. And then the last petal. Awesome. So now I'm going to set that aside to dry. The big one that goes in the middle, I'm not using any glue. The whole thing is just going to be a dimensional. So that is all good. I'm going to put that aside and that can dry. And my little bird, I'm also, he also needs a little bit of glue. So I'm going to color his beak really quick. I'm just using an orange Sharpie. Come to think of it, I probably should have colored the beak before I cut it out. That would have made it so much easier. That's okay. Put a little bit of glue on his nose. I didn't want him to be super dimensional as well because he's kind of sitting under the flower. So the glue just gives it a tiny little bit of raisedness and without being too much. Okay. I'm going to use the old olive by stamping up. And this one is Tip Top Taupe. I love taupe so much. My whole house is painted in taupe colors. <laughs> so in the video it said to use my previous video about painting vellum it said to use a laminated sheet but I figured out that I can use my stamping blocks because they they're easy to clean so that is what I'm gonna do I don't have a uh, laminated sheet. Just dab that on there And my old olive. There are a few different companies that make colorless blenders. Um, the one I have is by Prisma, but Stamping Up sells a three pack, which is probably a better deal because I think I think Prisma's a fairly expensive brand, but I, I don't remember how much I paid for it. I I bought it so long ago. So it's so nice I'm finally getting around to using it. Anyway, so the vellum, it's going to be, you're going to paint on the opposite side you stamped on. So make sure you turn it over before you get started. I've never actually tried to paint on the front side of this. It might work. So you can try that and let me know how that goes. But I, I like the clean effect you get from painting the back. Okay, and I'm back and I finished the coloring. This is so easy to clean. Baby wipe, wipe it right off. And okay. so next step, I'm going to bring back my little pieces. 
So if you have Prisma, this these are um, warm gray. I'm going to use 60% on the flower and 30% on the bird. Just going to cast a bit of a shadow along the petals. Done. So, now let me see how far the glue has dried. Glue feels like it's pretty good. So, I'm going to go ahead and attach these. I'm going to use double sided tape for the bird. I don't like to use glue on vellum because I feel like it kind of warps a little bit sometimes. This is just scotch double sided tape. And then for the next part I'm going to use dimensionals. Mine are square but I don't think you can get the square ones anymore. They're, uh, they're like hexagons now. I love the way it overlaps with the bird just a little bit. Oh, didn't quite get it straight. Let me try again. Not that it has to be perfect, but it always looks better if it lines up with the lines that are underneath. What you could do is just ink up the leaves and the stem if you wanted to and not the flower when you stamp the vellum, but I like having a guide to work with, so that is why I do it like that. Put a couple of dimensionals for that flower that I did not glue. And then for these ones to keep them popped up, I'm going to cut some smaller dimensionals in half. I had just used the whole dimensional before, but it was sticking out and you could see it, so that did not work for me. So that is why I'm cutting them into smaller pieces. Push that down so that sticks to everything. If you did not want to use the dimensionals and cutting them and doing all this little fidgety work, then you could try something like those little diamonds or pearls that you get that have the uh, tacky back and just pop those underneath because those would keep the petals up as well. And if they do end up being seen, they're pretty, so. That would be a good alternative, I think. So, done with the vellum for now. I'm going to put that aside. Next, I'm going to make the cloud part and you can kind of see it through the vellum there. It's going to be behind the vellum. So I'm going to grab my loud stamps and 
these are from, what are these from? Balloon Celebration, also from Stamping Up. So I found that with these ones, maybe it's the ink I'm using, I don't know, that it's better not to use a backing for them. So I'm just using, it's kind of a generic ink pad. I think it's the Michaels brand and it's just a white pigment ink. I don't have a really good white ink pad. I really should invest in one. I know that Stays On makes a white ink pad and I think I should probably buy one of those. Anyways, so it's gonna randomly press down some clouds. Totally random. If you get white ink on your hands, try not to touch the paper. Did that on the last one, so there it's kind of it's not the greatest. All right, clean my hands. Now I'm just going to cut my clouds. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a border with this one. But with the last one, I just cut right against the, um, the edge of the clouds. Really good. Okay. Get my clouds and because I'm feeling a little bit lazy, I'm probably just going to do the double sided tape again. <laughs> Bring that back. Just watch your hands because I'm getting white ink all over my fingers. Actually, I'm going to take some scrap paper and press that down so that I don't have to be touching the white ink. Okay. And now the thing about vellum is that if you use just regular double-sided tape on it, you'll see where you've taped it. So that's why I like the idea of the sparkly tape. Adds a little something and you don't really have to worry about seeing the tape. Just gonna pick up the end of my vellum with the tape, press that down, then line it up at the top. Make sure my vellum's straight. Take your time with this. Don't uh, don't rush this part. Just make sure everything's lined up. And now I think I'm just gonna fold this end over. And I'm just gonna cut. So some of my blue was too, went too far. So I'm just gonna trim all of that, including the tape, all in one go. And then I'm going to stamp my greeting. And I made a big mess, so we are going to do something different to save this card. <laughs> Trying to make it look like a ribbon. And I am going to just 
draw a bit of a border on there so it looks like everything else on my page. stamp this again and hopefully it works could be that my ink pad needs re-inking which is totally possible oh there you go perfect so who knows what the problem was but got it right that time and I'm going to use double sided tape and tape on here edge there so I gotta cut that off. Oops. Okay. Stick that in its place. It's kind of unfortunate because now you can't see the clouds but if you're doing it this way you probably don't even need the clouds. Scissors. Boom. Try to make that straight, but it's not the end of the world if it is not. Oh, good. It worked. Yay. So this is a white gel pen. Um, I bought it through Stamping Up. I'm just going to add random highlights. Not so random, but on all of the... Uh, the petals. Well done. And yeah, so there you go. There is my Mother's Day card ready and a improbbed how to fix mistakes option <laughs> and my hanging there card. So anybody needs a little bit of encouragement, I am ready for that. And really this kind of card you could use for anything. It could be a birthday card, sympathy card. I don't know, it, it can be anything. So, um, I hope you enjoyed my video, um, like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you for watching, until next time.